Hello, my dear sewing friends. It's Elisa here with Thoughtful Creativity, and we're continuing our weekly conversations about tips for better sewing. But today, today we're actually talking about pattern drafting, and I'm sharing with you just one, but very valuable tip about how to be better at pattern drafting. This is not a technical video. We're not going to be talking about what's the best way, how to find a bust dart or how to remodel the darts or anything like that. And by the end of it, you might think I'm completely crazy or it will really change the pattern drafting game for you just upside down, which I really, really hope for. Because you know, I'm a true believer that if I can do it, then you can do it for sure. And I'm not saying this because it sounds like a great slogan or anything else like that. No, I truly believe in it. Because listen, the tape measure that I use is pretty much the same as you use. The difference between the scissors that I use for my sewing is probably very minimal from the scissors that you use. So really, in my opinion, the difference that we make in our sewing is all in here. Much like the same when we go about life, right? When we change our mindset, we can change our life. So let me show you how I go about pattern drafting and where does it start. And it starts with the world around us. Now you see, if you look a little closer, everything in the world is made from shapes. Some combinations are quite unique and some are quite simple. Like this orange, for example. It reminds you of a circle, right? Now, any package that you receive is actually a square or a rectangle and even this tea bag is in the shape of a triangle. Now, of course, we're talking here about 2D shapes, simple and basic. Now, let's take a look at this cup and let's look at it as a 3D object. It has a circle bottom rectangle sides and a tube-like handle and all of a sudden you realize that 3D objects are actually built from those simple 2D shapes. And if you take a step further and you lay this all flat, guess what? You will get a pattern. It sounds pretty easy and straightforward, isn't it? Well, think about it. Patterns and garments also consist out of shapes if you really look at it through the lens of everything in this world being a type of shape. Now, let's take a look at some of these examples in order for you really to understand what I mean. We'll start simple with a skirt like this. And it can be made in so many variations. And in fact, it has been over the years by ready-to-wear fashion to high-end designers. I'm pretty sure you've seen a skirt like this in your lifetime at least once. Yet, the basic pattern is actually a rectangle that has been gathered at the waist. So let's take a step further. This skirt is also based on a rectangle, but in this case, three of them. Each one is increased in size to create the tiers. Now, the blouse that I made a few days ago, this one of you remember, I've shared a tutorial with you in which I point your attention to the basic T shape of the blouse, which also consists from simple shapes. Do you see what I mean? And the thing that I love the most about sewing is that there isn't just one right answer. There really isn't. Look at this. You can construct the blouse as it is, like I did in my tutorial, or like this, or like this, or even like this. Of course, all of these are very simple examples, but even the darts on the bodice block or the skirt block, they look like triangles, right? And those triangles represent one simple thing, the difference between two volumes of your body features. So really, shapes are everywhere. And the next thing you know, you'll be looking at the blouse in a shop and thinking, aha, the sleeves are actually half circle and the ruffle is a gathered rectangle. In some way, it is much like playing a constructor. You know, I play a lot with my toddler and it really reminds me of that. When you really simplify it, it takes the fear out of it and then you feel encouraged to try, to do, and then adjust along the way when you feel that it's necessary. You know, I actually remember that in one of the videos I did ask you if starting your drafting with a geometric shape actually makes sense. And so many of you answered that it does and that it makes it so much easier to understand how it all comes together. So I think there's definitely something to it. Now, if you've been a viewer of my channel, first of all, thank you so much. I truly appreciate that. But then again, you're not a stranger to using shapes in your pattern drafting and in your songs. For example, we made this cardigan, which is a circle. And of course, I do understand that this particular cardigan is a very basic representation of using geometric shapes in your pattern drafting because we take that shape as it is without any transformation at all. But you know what? 
it works and it creates a beautiful result. And then of course, these other patterns that we've done based on really basic geometric shapes. So while you can get away by using simple shapes in their original form for your sewing, we all know that pattern drafting is just so much more. And I mean, you can't really make a corset ball gown based on a rectangle, right? But don't let that stop you. Your body is also a shape. Not a simple shape, but a variation of a shape, which means that you can start with a basic one and work from there. And if you have noticed, some of my simple sewing videos, I start with a drafting of a rectangle for a bodice, and then we work from there. And you already have the biggest clue for your pattern drafting, and that is your body. And the measuring tape is going to be your best friend in this adventure. I think the real trick, the real magic behind seeing everything as shapes, especially in sewing and pattern drafting, is that it makes it very relatable. And I think that's where a lot of people struggle with pattern drafting is because it's seen as the sacred art, something that only a couple of people do and know how to do. And the rest of us, well, we have to rely on what we have and the resources that we have been given, but it's so not true. Everybody can do it, absolutely everybody. And making it relatable really does help in understanding that, okay, this part of my body is like a square or maybe rectangle, but it's a little bit transformed rectangle, so I need to take it in in the sides and make a curved line, and that's when it clicks. And if you think about it, just think about it, the main body shapes, right, what they're being called in modern culture, a lot of what, apples, pears, hourglasses, because why? Because it makes it relatable, because it looks like that object, and we're doing exactly the same in our pattern drafting. Dear sewing friend, I really hope that this truly helped you to see the pattern drafting from my perspective. Hopefully it took some fear out of it. And here are some other videos that you can watch for simple pattern drafting videos where you can make something beautiful for yourself. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video.